I'm Pete Kelsey, Strategic Projects Executive with Autodesk, and we are very proud to be here at the Arizona Memorial to conduct the first comprehensive survey of the USS Arizona. Another way to look at that is this building and the ship literally hasn't had a physical in 30 years. So we are here to uh, employ a bunch of different technology to really take a close look at it and see how she's doing. This marks the first ever combination of three technologies. The first being LIDAR, which is a fancy word for laser scanning. The second is sonar. And the third is something relatively new called photogrammetry, which allows anyone with any camera to take a series of pictures of anything and then create a 3D model from those photos. Hi, I'm John Tachi. I'm Gilbane Building Company's Director of Virtual Design and Construction. And on this project, I'm in charge of the operation of what's called LIDAR. Uh, in a more informal term, it's laser scanning. So this unit right behind me here right now is sending out roughly 700 million individual points that are accurate to about a fraction of a millimeter. And that allows us to get precise measurements and also stitch these 700 million point clouds together to create a complete composite picture of the current state of both the Utah and the USS Arizona. Hello, I'm Jens Teenstrup, uh, the president of R2 Sonic. Uh, we're based in Austin, Texas. And uh, I'm here with my team uh, of a hydrographer uh, who is here to do the mapping of the wrecks. We are manufacturers of underwater acoustic equipment. And what's special about this particular uh, offering here is the super high resolution and the ability to get up very close to the targets to get that high resolution and map that. And so we do that from vessels, both from the surface vessels as well as little tiny remotely operated vessels. And so for that purpose, we've also brought along from deep ocean engineering, again, I provided a vessel that is remotely controlled, small guy that can get into very tight spaces. The Artisonic team are here to do very detailed maps of the USS Arizona and Utah and uh, with uh, this very high resolution sonar equipment. Hi, my name is Sean Hurley. I'm a technologist in the office of the CTO at Autodesk. I've played many roles throughout this project, primarily though photogrammetry. And photogrammetry is where you're able to take photos with a standard camera, whether it be a point and shoot or a uh, pro DSLR. And we use uh, software algorithms and it, it, it converts those photos into 3D geometry. One of the important things with, for example, this cooking pot um, and 3D printing this does is these are actual objects that sit on the deck of the USS Arizona. We're not going to be bringing these things up, the real objects, up to the surface so that people can see them. But when we've actually shown these to, whether it be visitors or actual survivors of the ships or the National Park Service or Navy personnel, um, it's, it's, per, it's, it's much better than just a photo. You can feel what it's like. You can get an idea of what things are like. This is about a, a, a three to one scale. The Coke bottle is one to one. So this actually looks like this on the, on the ship right now. So it helps uh, people understand really in a, in, a, in a 3D context what it looks like. You know, what these objects are down there and they can hold it and they can feel it and they can see there's, there's marine life growing on these. It's, uh, you know, n not only is it uh, almost like a, a living reef with corals and, and different types of uh, animal life out there, marine life, but it's also still got the remnants of the sailors and marines from 1941. 